Ismail Mohamed. These men are now new members of Somalia's special forces. After seven months of training, they receive their supplies. Shoes, rain jackets, sunglasses, guns. These young men will be deployed to Somalia's many front lines. Their mission, to fight Al-Shabaab. They're not ready yet, but this is a country still very much at war. And every soldier in the Somalia National Army is needed. It's the best way to build an army is in peacetime. The challenge the SNA has now, how do you build army who's in, in war? It's very difficult you, because you cannot even have a time to train them, the soldiers, because you need it. Tomorrow's war. You just recruit, you finish recruit, tomorrow he has to go to fight. And the inexperience shows Al Shabaab fighters have infiltrated Mogadishu. Attacks are now more frequent and bold. So far this year, they've attacked the airport, a UN compound, and the presidential palace all in the most fortified section of the city. A lot of people here in Mogadishu are tired of being afraid. There is almost no day that goes by without a mortar, grenade or gun attack. But the people remain hopeful that the government can do better. Somalia's army and Africa Union forces have been pushing out Al-Shabaab from their main bases in south-central Somalia. The rebels are said to be fleeing to mountains in northern Somalia Many are also entering Mogadishu. What you need is a credible um, government that has got the support of the locals. A locals that think their government is delivering something good for them. Al Shabaab would not hide inside Somalia if the entire public and the government. If the government wins the public to their side. Back at the training camp, the special forces sing the national anthem. They're ready for combat. But they are under no illusions. After more than two decades of war, they tell us that making sure civilians are safe was never going to be easy. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Mogadishu.